And uh, let's see if we can get the man in here himself. Let's see here. All right. All right. Can you hear us? Mitch? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you, man. I can hear you. Yeah. What's going on, man? Hey, man. Uh, I'm so glad to have you go on the uh, show. Welcome to uh, Sunday mornings with a Tiki Man, first of all. And uh, you got the hippie uh-huh. chick the hippie chick down there and uh, Golden, uh, who is a, a smoker in himself, you know. So he was pretty excited about uh, the name of the band, Dan Jackson and the Smokers. Smokers. Yeah. Smokers. Yeah. yeah, that's right, man. So uh, tell us a little bit about uh, uh, your music, man. Tell us about uh, – you're down in uh, San Antonio, right? Just moved out here, yeah, just a few months ago. Uh, so I'm from Los Angeles, so start off with that. Uh, so the guys that I recorded with, uh, they're all in L.A. So I'm going to be, uh, and I could talk about that in a little bit, how I'm going to be going back out there uh, next month. But um, my uh, background it was always in country music. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, up until about 2021, I was doing country. And um, I was taking a, break, a long break from music, almost two years, you know, just up until I was, thinking about moving and everything and things were changing and i was listening to uh um i had gotten the changes in latitudes changes in attitudes uh, <laughs> album yeah and uh you know i always knew uh, i knew margaritaville and that was it man but yeah. when i heard that song that changed a lot of stuff and i said man this is the kind of song this is the kind of music to make right here it's just so much happier and it feels good like you just feel so much better so i thought Trop rock is for me was like the kind of music to start making. And uh, so I was like, I got to get some, some additional instruments. I didn't have, you know, I didn't have, you know, shakers or anything like that to make, you know, any kind of an Island vibe. I just have my acoustic guitar and electric guitar and uh, it's been a learning experience. And now we're at the point where uh, we record a full album. We've been putting one song out a month. Um, And, uh, so the first song we did was called Island Girl, and uh, we put that one out. I think you might might show that one today. Yeah, we're going to uh, do uh, show the video because I, I I think it's very interesting how artificial yeah. intelligence. Uh, this will actually be our first video of playing artificial intelligence uh, from a, from an artist. So that's a whole sure. other topic. Uh, how that all came about, but uh, yeah, Island Girl cool. is the song. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, yeah, that, so that we we did that song and. Uh, we're just uh, continuing to record and think about um, the writing process and how we want to make these kind of songs. Because like I said, uh, my whole background was always in, in country. And so this this style is, is a little new to me, you know, and I spend most of my time just doing the, the chord structures and coming up with the changes. And then the most of the time is just doing the, the lyrics and thinking about what are you going to say, you know, and trying to be creative, too, with the drop rock genre is a challenge as well, because I don't uh, you know, we want to do the songs about the relaxation and, you know, go out and have a drink. But yeah. we want to do as many different kinds of songs as we can. And uh, that's why I was listening to your guys uh, radio station. You guys were talking about giving opportunities to, uh, you know, uh, different different uh, genres and not just strictly or different types of songs, you know. Yeah. And kind of branching out, and, and uh, I really like that. that, and that spoke to me, and that's why I, I remember I reached out to you guys, and I was like, "Hey, this is this would be really good. Like, uh, this is, sounds perfect for something that we were looking at." So, yeah, trop rock as itself it has a lot of uh, country, uh, country swing uh, roots uh, embedded into it, and uh, you know, and, and you can go all the way back to uh, we talked about this last week. Uh, uh, Elvis with you know Elvis of Blue Hawaii and all that kinds of stuff you know that uh, uh, different yeah. different types of, of music but really it's it's all about escape, escapism and it really doesn't have to be a margarita on the beach and 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 all that kind of stuff I mean those are great those are great songs but uh, it's really uh, for me personally uh, paradise is a state of mind. And it can be golden on his boat over here, you know, fishing yesterday. It could be, uh, you know, uh, you know, for uh, uh, Kelly McGuire, it's in Belize. Uh, you know, for a lot of people, it's Key West. You know, so it, it, it could be, uh, you know, on the coast of Texas. You know, it, whatever paradise is, uh, it's a, it, it's, a, it's a, all about escapism. Yeah, well, you know, to go to the beach, since we moved out here to San Antonio. And it's so hot out here, you know, we're, we're oh, wow. hundred degrees every day. And we're like, 
hey, let's go down to the beach. What's the closest beach? And we're from LA. This is usually a, this is usually a twenty minute drive. Well, if we look at it. It's Corpus Christi, and we go down there, and I tell you, the whole the whole place was down at the beach that day. Yeah, it was one hundred seven degrees. You know, everyone and their dog was down there, and uh, <laughs> you know, it, it was part of, it was the first time I had been in the water and out in the beach water for some time and so i was like man i took it for granted you know being out there in in la and uh just having all those beaches but and they got a whole they got a whole hurricane running through uh, yeah California. what's uh i mean uh hopefully nobody that you know is in harm's way but uh we were just talking about it that uh is like 1939 since the last time a, a hurricane hit that part of california and uh so a lot of people living in in la uh, have never witnessed anything like that, so it's uh, it's really really dangerous situation where people don't really understand it and don't understand that it's really the aftermath. The flooding is really the the biggest part of uh, the danger when it comes to, to hurricane. But uh, uh, it's an amazing thing uh, what's going on out there. Do you have anybody in harm's way out in LA? Well, they're all. My, my, I called my dad last night because he's right in the path. Yeah. And, uh, but he's like, you know, he's, he's prepared himself and he's got his sandbags up and his garden's protected. And, uh, everyone's pretty, you know, pretty much ready. And, and it went from a level four to a level two last night, last time I checked. Sure. Uh, but yeah, but everyone I know is in California. Yeah. You know, it, 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 so I'll be keeping a close eye on that and, uh, you know, sending love their way if they need anything. And good thing I'll be going out there soon too. Uh, just to be doing some more music and you know if any yeah we'll see how the aftermath of this is and if maybe i need to go down there sooner yeah well san antonio is a beautiful it's one of my favorite cities to go to i spent uh 20 years 23 years really going down there i used to work for a company that was based out of san antonio so i have spent my time there uh, at the river walk and uh dirty nelly's was my favorite bar that i would always go to whenever i got checked in down there and i, I spent more in my share of time i mean I, i've been thrown out of that bar a time or two in san antonio so but i love san antonio but it is hot man it's hot this time of year down there yeah man it, it was it's uh you know and our, our pool's been down and those guys are like oh it's gonna get fixed and i'm like i'm going man i'm on the edge of my seat over here i'm ready to take a dip you know <laughs> Yeah, Corpus Christi, you know, all that area. There's a lot of trop rockers. Uh, we just had Jonas Lawrence uh, and his band uh, here that did our – we have a big summer party we do here every year, and they were here playing on our stage out here at the Tiki Bar. They're from Texas. Uh, Jerry Diaz and Hannah's Reef, you know, they're all from Texas. Uh, Donnie Brewer's from uh, Texas. So a lot of great music uh, in Texas from the trop rock coastal Americana uh, scene for sure. Yeah, and I love that the Coastal Americana. I was watching the because before we were just saying we were trop rock. Yeah, and then so you you coined the phrase, right, ma'am? I did. Yeah, yeah, I that's did. Perfect. Thank that's, you. That's perfect. Thank Coastal you. Coastal Americana. We adopted that onto our uh, onto our Instagram page. We said we're trop rock. That's awesome. Coastal Americana because it just sounds just right. It does to me too. Yeah, Americana is a is such a broader umbrella from a marketing standpoint and we've we've explained this a lot but the you know whenever we used to be the trop rock paradise people like you say people know two or three Jimmy Buffett songs, Cheeseburger in Paradise, yeah. Margaritaville whatever. But, I mean, they don't understand the vast amount of uh, material that Jimmy Buffett has, number one. But from a marketing standpoint, just knowing those couple songs, you know, it's like, well, what the hell is Trop Rock? Well, it's kind of like Jimmy Buffett. And uh, they're like, well, you know, we're, you know, some people are into that, some people are not. But when you say Americana, it opens up a whole other door. They're like, oh, okay, I understand what that is. And then you explain we're more or less on the coastal side of Americana. Right. Yeah, I thought I don't think there's a better way to put it. Like I think it sounds better than Trump Rock. I, just, <laughs> I do too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, so, <clears throat> long, long, go ahead. There's yacht, rock, yacht Rock, another one. Yep, Yacht but, uh, Rock. I don't think I'm going to go with that one so, at all. So. Yeah, Yacht Rock. I used to listen to that channel when I was traveling uh, on Sirius XM. They had Yacht Rock, and it was kind of the similar kind of thing of what I kind of envisioned uh, our radio station becoming one day. It was kind of, you know, because 
we like to have basically the radio station came out of uh, the tiki bar out back, and it would just be summer parties here, and people just wanting to hear good music, you know. And we used to have CD players, and we burned <laughs> CDs, and and you know, and then say, "Oh man, I hadn't heard that song in a long time," and that kind of thing. And so the radio station is heavily influenced by all types of genre of music. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's it, huh? Yeah. So now let's talk a little bit about the name of the band. I, I don't know if you guys, uh, if you're in the witness protection program or whatever, so you didn't want to use your real name. So you came up with Dan Jackson and the Smokers. But I know there's a story behind it because we talked about it this week. Tell us a little bit yeah. about that. So uh, Joseph and I, Joseph's on the keyboard, by the way. So you'll hear him in some of the songs and he's playing the keyboard. Uh, him and I were both uh, in high school together. We went to the same school out in California. And uh, we had this professor, science professor, who uh, spent like half the class time talking about how he was in a band before he was a teacher. And this is what he really wanted to talk about. And uh, so, oh, yeah, I was in a band. But he would never, it would kill us because he would never give us the name of the band. <laughs> like, what band? We're like, Dan, what band was it? Oh, I can't tell you. Oh. And, uh, you know, we were in a private school, it was a Christian school. Maybe he didn't want us to hear what they were singing about or something. That's what I'm assuming. Sure. And uh, we never got the name of that band. And so when we started playing music, we're like, hey, let's just call it Dan ja the Dan Jackson Band because he, he would never tell us, you know. <laughs> and I was like, and maybe, I was like, and maybe if we ever have some success, we'll find Dan Jackson and maybe he'll finally tell us the name of his band. <laughs> and, uh, but I was like, no, no, we have to have, uh, we ought to have like a uh, Dan Jackson and something. Well, the other half of the class, he would, when he wasn't talking about his band, he was talking about smoke and barbecue. So <laughs> we just said, how about and the smokers? Instead of barbecue smokers, we just used and the smokers. It sounds a little better, but uh, yeah, so it's literally a reference to barbecue. <laughs> I love that. That's I great. love it for sure. <laughs> well, this is the this yeah. is the smoking king. He, over he is here. our grill master here, he official grill master of Harrison Bay here. You in, see uh, his shirt? It says, "I'd smoke that." I'd smoke that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's perfect. Because I would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, he, he would. would. Yeah. So, <laughs> when we were in that class, Dan and Jackson would talk about smoking for. 12, 24 hour, 12 to 24 hours, sometimes days where he would just sit in his backyard, unbelievably long smoker sessions. But uh, yeah, that's what we named the band after. And, you know, it, it sounds like it could be about something totally, totally else, but yeah, that's what it is. I think so, it's great. There's no one to name Dan Jackson in our band. So <laughs> me, me and Mitchell and uh, my buddy Joseph that are doing all the, all the, uh, the music. And then uh, we have Romina, who does some of the background vocals, you know, when I can't quite get up that high and we need that boost, yeah. we're bringing the, our big gun Romina and she helps me get the, she helps me get like with more of like the bigger sound, you know? So very cool. And so we, yeah. All right, man. Well, listen, uh, I want to put you back in the green room, put us all back in the green room. That way we won't have any distortion. And then I'm going to play uh, Island Girl, the video. I've got the video we're going to play, which is all done by artificial intelligence. And then when we come back, we'll talk about the song itself, of course, and then uh, how the video came about. OK. Yeah. And to, just to put it out there that the the. the the video footage is, is artificial intelligence, not the music. Right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Important. All right. Okay. I'm going to put you back in the green room. Just bear with us a little bit, okay? Hold on just a second here. Let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, let's see here. I've got it down here. Here we go, everybody. <laughs> it all. 
all comes back to you. It all comes back to you. It all comes back to you. We swim at night. Make love by the firelight. We walk the shore, my island girl, forevermore. In the air and through the sky, I'm lifted by her touch. She showed me how the heart means so much. Try a little sunshine, baby. A little loving too. She said, "You keep shining, and you'll find that it all comes back to you. It all comes back to you. It all comes back to you." Now every plan I had before. Sand on the ocean floor. And sand brings me down, man. But it's where I found my pearl, and that's you, my island girl. Go. That is awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. I love the lyrics. Yeah, let me see if I can get us back over here and get us all back into the uh there we go, man. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> That's great. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. Yep. So everybody's watching on uh, YouTube. Uh, we're very fortunate to uh, be able to stream on the radio and, of course, uh, YouTube at the same time. So uh, and then yeah, we'll go back and cut this interview out separately as well so I can send it to you. You can do whatever you want to with it. But tell us a little bit about uh, yeah, how this all came about. The, uh, the song first. Uh, tell us a little bit about the song. Man, I was thinking about uh, different uh, chord changes that would sound really beautiful. And uh, usually I wouldn't, there's a, there's one chord in there that you wouldn't normally use out of, in, in that um, uh, set of chords. And uh, it just kind of had a sound or it took me to an island as I was playing it. I said, hey, let's do a song about an island. Okay, cool. But what's special about it? And I wanted to do a song about just this person who had been working real hard, needing an escape. And then that wasn't good enough. I couldn't stop there. I thought when they get to the island, they, they're going to fall in love with, like, the most beautiful island girl ever. And, uh, you know, th- his dream came true. Yeah. Uh, he went to the island, and uh, he went, went, by the end of the song, he's talking about um, hey, everything that was important to him before is sand on the ocean floor, and but he found his pearl. Yeah. And that's, a, that's his island girl, and uh, everyone has their... Everyone hopefully has a, their own island girl. Or, Absolutely, you know, yeah, can, can relate to something like that, you know. So well, that was the first one. That was the first song, and uh, you know, there's, uh, you know, I didn't bust out like the steel drum halfway through it or do anything crazy. It was just really kind of a mellow one, but it's a good song. I think that is, uh, it's, it was a good like first song, and then uh, there's other songs that we've done where we have more of those, you know, the sure. steel drums vibes and more shakers and stuff like that. But uh, for this one. Um, yeah, that was, so I knew one of the really important parts with this song, uh, besides the, the lyrics, which just took me forever, you know, it just took me a long time to sit there and write this, uh, was I knew that we needed to have some kind of vocal on there, which was Romina in the background, that was the island girl. Mm-hmm. And so it's specific, she like methodically comes in in the certain parts where, uh, He's talking about, uh, he's saying, she said, try a little sunshine, a little loving too, and you keep shining and it'll all come back to you. Well, she said, she's saying that with him. So it's kind of like, uh, it's like supposed to be her saying it too. Uh, so yeah, that was important. We brought in, uh, we found Romina off of YouTube, believe it or not. Wow. And uh, yeah, she was doing these cr- like insane rock covers of Striper songs, which is like 80s hair metal. And I said, <laughs> yeah. <this girl> <laughs> This girl can sing like she's got some pipes, and uh, this is a, let's let's ask her if she'd be interested in doing some music. And you know, thank God we we got her. 
So, uh, and then of course, Joseph on the piano, very, very, very uh, you know, he's bouncing around doing his thing. And I don't know how to play piano myself, but you know, he's Elton John in the corner, you know, <laughs> hugging all, all the kind of just the right corners and uh, right on the right words, he, you know, gives it a little flair with his piano. And I, when it all came together, I was like, this is perfect. Yeah. And just mixing and mastering. And then, uh, then we were done. Well, there you go. Then you decided you needed a video. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Because uh, I liked the song and I knew we, I would want a video for it, but I had already moved to San Antonio by the time I was mixing these songs. We recorded them all while we were in California. And when I got out here, I wasn't in the position to just drive to California and be like, hey, let's go down and make an Island Girl video. So I was really thinking about it. And it, it was like, eat me up. I didn't, you know, what, what are we going to do? I hadn't been to Corpus Christi. I'm not going to go down there and start recording people or something like that. <laughs> so I, I go, I go on the internet and I'm thinking, uh, what, you know, what can I hire someone to go make a video? What can I do? You know, and I had just started a new job at that time and I was already busy. And, and so I, but I knew like I had to make time to do this. I go and I find this guy on uh, Fiverr, the AI artist, so it's artificial intelligence, and they're using, uh, you know, the computers to come up with images and video images that go along with whatever is being sung about. So they have some sort of manipulation with what's being seen. It's not like they just computer take the song and it's done. They have to type in what they want to see, and then the computer generates that. I don't know how to do that. It's uh, there is some kind of art to that, yeah. But uh, it's it's definitely different, and. Uh, you know, I knew that putting that video out could like either, you know, there's some of the scenes where the art might look kind of scary because you can tell it's not real. But uh, I was like, either this is going to be people will love it or it's just going to freak them out. So well, I, <laughs> I love wrote, it. I yeah, love I, it. I think uh, it really comes across more like a dream. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Uh, with that, um, you know, the way it's uh, going in and out and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't look bad by no means. I think it's more or less like a, you know, coming across as a dream to me. That's how I interpreted it anyway. That that's a good way to put it. Yeah, maybe it was just this whole, whole guy's dream. We gotta <laughs> add a, we gotta add an ending to that video where the guy wakes up and realizes uh, he never left the house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he, he's just the guy on the on the couch eating Cheetos. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was a great dream. Yeah. <laughs> I know it was fantastic. Island girl too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. It's going to be a sad song. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suspect that uh, as people, uh, you know, it's kind of like, you know, uh, you you go back 10 years ago, not everybody knew how to mix their own music, how to how to do things, you know, and, and uh, that technolo technology came along. And I, I, I've, I really believe you'll see more of this uh, where people will learn how to do these things and type in and do this and do that. And uh, the way that and, – and I'm starting to – uh, train myself a little bit in on it because I spend a tremendous amount of time doing putting videos together and stuff like that. But being able to type out, type in what you want uh, instead of searching for it and it bringing yeah. it to you is uh, is an amazing tool. So uh, I'm learning yeah. it on the on the side a little bit. You know that. Uh, so that's how that video was done. There is also the ability to do that with pictures, and that's how the Island Girl art cover was done so it's a girl on the beach and she's just like you know that's the cover of the song yeah um that, that artwork was also done using our artificial intelligence that was with uh dolly so i made that one i just typed girl standing on beach tropical sunset background yeah and it came up with some really killer pictures and uh i always thought to myself i'm like man this is gonna put hope this doesn't put like artists out of a job you know because this thing is just spitting out yeah old it, and you know, that whole thing that's going on in Hollywood right now with the uh, Actors Guild and all that, you know, all of that is what the, the, the real pushing point is, is that, you know, you're putting actors and, and, and people that uh, do the behind the scenes of all these shows and stuff out of work. And that's their biggest fear. So they're trying to get that into the to the contract right now. So, you know, I, it is what it is, you know, and, and I, I think that uh, um I think it, it it's going to change, you know, 10 years from now, you know, I mean, it's it's going to be a whole different ball game on a lot of things, but uh uh that's just part of it, you know, we're moving moving forward, you know. 
I grew up in a house where you had one telephone hanging in the kitchen. All right, <laughs> you know we didn't have cell phones and all this other stuff. Now, now you got now all this. Got all this great. Which, technology. by the way, they're bringing back the flip phone. Did you see that? It's yep. it's called something else. It's it's it, some it, galaxy phone or something. And the guy that created the new bean bag. It's not a bean bag. The was, moon pot. The moon pot. I looked at it's that. It's a bean bag. I that commercial, and I was like, that is a bean bag I from the seventies. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, but, <laughs> no styrofoam balls all over the house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> love it. Yeah, but if you have a dog, you're gonna love having bean bags and rip that thing apart. Yeah, I haven't yes. seen those in a long time, man. I haven't seen a bean bag in a long time. Oh, oh well, they, I, it's a moon pot yeah. now. Now so. they're making them again, the moon pot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it, but anyway, tell us a little bit uh, how people can follow you. Are you guys going to be playing in Texas, or are you going to go back to LA to play? How's that going to work? Well, the plan is to go back in September, and uh, because so uh, we're Right, kind of running out of songs to keep putting out. And I, you know, we tried doing some uh, recording um, remotely, and I like to be in the room when we record. You know, it's just like kind of, you know, when you're writing the song, you kind of know what you want out of a certain thing. You kind of want to be there to be like, hey, we need a little more there, a little more there, a little more punch that. Sure. Uh, so, so um, we're, to, in order to find the song, that, sorry, I can go off in different directions here. <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> To find the music, uh, you can go on uh, Spotify and type in Dan Jackson and the Smokers. You can go on YouTube if you don't have Spotify and type in Dan Jackson and the Smokers. And uh, we're also kind of everywhere. That, uh, we use a, 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 a platform called DistroKid to push our music out. And it puts it to just tons of these sites where I don't even go on, like iHeartRadio. I know we're on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Pandora, we're on there. Um, and just a bunch of others. I think most streaming platforms you will be able to find us. Mm-hmm. And uh, even like if you were making a story or something on Instagram or Facebook, you could like find clips of our music to use for your stories and stuff like that. So uh, we'll have uh, right now we have um, three songs on uh, on our and to our name that's released. But there's going to be a lot more. And uh, this is just the beginning, and we're going to be trying a lot of uh, cool stuff, new stuff. I, there's songs that are coming up I'm really excited about. And um, th- and so even just being able to do this kind of thing and get on the radio and talk with you guys is what a, this is a big blessing, and it's a big deal, and I really we really appreciate this. Sure. Because we're, we're just starting out. We can definitely use any kind of support. We we so this means a lot to us. And um, you know, with what we we're rocking our three songs and appreciate. <laughs> Happen well, so. it's it's good stuff, man, and uh, we really appreciate you uh, being here and sharing your story with us. And of course, you can also listen to Dan Jackson and the Smokers on Tiki Man Radio because we have all three songs in there. And then, of course, whenever cool. you get some more music uh, or you've got something, a major announcement, or if you're coming to T- Tennessee and you want to come in the studio with yeah. us, yeah. Yeah, uh, down yeah, there? yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, man. You got you got my cell phone, so you can reach out to us, and uh, we, uh, you know, we're that's what we do, man. We support local artists. We support the independent artists. That's what this whole thing is about. So, uh, anything we can do to help get the word out, you let us know, okay? I appreciate that. You guys rock, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, thanks for thanks for joining us, and uh, we're going to let you fly and get back to the show. But uh, I'll cut this interview out. It'll be separate on YouTube, and I'll send you a link to it, okay? Perfect. I appreciate that. All right, man. Well, we appreciate right, it. We'll talk to you soon. All right, Have buddy. A good one. See you, buddy.